Morning everyone. Today I'm in beautiful Exmouth, Western Australia. I'm on board a 32 foot lures center console game fishing vessel with the game tower and we have just had two new FPT NEF 400 marine engines installed in this vessel. Uh, previously the Yanmar 380 horsepower engines were in here and now we've stepped up to the NEF 400s. We're about to go out for sea trials today. I'd love to show you around them. Let me give you a quick look around the engines while we're here. So as you can see, these are the two beautiful NEF 400s sitting quite close side by side. This is a hydraulic hatch from the helm, which simply lifts up and down. Two engines tucked in here, quite neatly really. So they use ZF85A gearboxes, which are tucked way down in there. Very short shafts actually on, uh, on this particular vessel, no more than 1500 mil long. Um, the gearboxes have been reused from the Yanmars, which is made for quite a cost-effective repower. We do have ample room for travelling between the engines. The engines uh, have been put in on resilient mounts that were in here previously. Uh, the gearboxes are rear mounted and so because the existing Z gearboxes have been reused, there's actually been no change. So only the front mounts have been changed. Um, I had the pleasure of working with Taylor Marine out of Geraldton on this particular installation. So you can see looking here from the front, uh, the engines here do sit in quite neatly. We've got a little bit more space at the front, which is great, and ample room to come all the way around the side. Uh, here you can see we've got all of our ECUs, our relay boxes, our CAN bus converters, and the big grey one. Uh, control box for the throttle in there. Seawater inlet, you can see runs on the starboard side of the motor through this pipe here, uh, 45 mil inlet diameter. At the rear, you can see we have a pair of Raycor the filters with the clear bowl on the bottom for inspection, they run up and run directly into the FPT filters you can see sitting right there and from there into the engine which is a third filter just down here. They are the rail engine, so here we have the common rail sitting up on the rail here. Um, this particular installation does allow for, for quite good access really for a 32 foot vessel compared to a lot of other vessels on the market so really is accessible from the top of these engines over which makes life quite easy for serviceability all the way around. Um, relatively quiet on the anti-vibration mounts they have really ensured that we don't have any vibration all the way through the rev range. They are quite quiet actually as well uh, out the exhaust on these particular units here. Uh, to give you an idea on fuel consumption, we're burning around about 35 litres per hour per engine at cruise. So looking up at the lower helm, there is a second station, the flybridge station right at the top of the game tower on this particular vessel. Uh, you can see here that we have the two deluxe compact screens, which gives us a great bit of information in regards to cooling temperature, oil pressure and fuel rate instantaneous in litres per hour, as well as a trip, total hours and of course the RPM. Page two gives us a lot more information in regards to battery voltages, fuel temperatures, torques, fuel, um, boost pressure, as well as the air intake temperature. And as you can tell, it's quite warm here in Exmouth at the moment, intake sitting at 45 degrees. Uh, fuel trip is a great one, so you can swipe down and reset your trip. 
which therefore allows, let's turn it back to auto, which therefore allows you to see how much fuel you have used on any particular run. The flex ball control system here is electronic for both engines and gearboxes, which gives us a great little functionality of being able to hold down these two buttons, take command first, turn off warm up, hold down the two engine buttons, yellow light stays solid, which means both engines run off the same control stick here. I'll give a turn. Reset. We can give them a little rev here. Oops, green gear. Take that out. And I'll give you a bit of a run through at the back. It's been a very enjoyable day up in Exmouth. We've had a great time uh, on board this beautiful Lewis 32 uh, named Kajiki. Uh, we've had a great time. The vessel's run really well. Um, can't wait. Rob's going out and Rob and Ian are going out fishing tomorrow. Hope they have a great day. Thanks very much for watching.